Hey guys, how's your day going? Let me know in the comment section. It's David White and today I'll be starting the first episode of my series TV White Talk is 6 and without wasting much of your time, let's dive right in. Today we would be studying auto layout and I'll try to dissect this in 6 minutes starting now. So first off, I'll get my iPhone 13 Pro and I'll try to create um, something. So I'm going to change this into an auto layout, sorry, into a grid system and I'm going to use 8 points and changing this to 25 to give it the, um, the margin. And so with this, I'm going to bring in the text, I'm going to type um, the name of someone name of your wife and bringing this down I'll type a message so let's say this is our message and certainly we're going to need um, a picture so going up here and choosing the Eclipse tool I will just draw a picture from this point to the other point. So I'm zooming in so that you can see this clearly. And so we have our picture fixed. I like to place this at this point and I will extend this a bit inside. Changing this um, to 18, making it, uh, let's use semi bold. Yeah. And then this is going to be regular for at 14. Yeah, cool. So this is just a sample design. Uh, we're not going to do so much because we're covering this in six minutes. Um, so let's give this let's give this an image. So I'll use the on splash plugin, and I'm just going to put an image there. We hope I hope the internet is not going to fail me at this point. So yeah. Let's use this guy and uh, I'm just going to click it the other way. So closing this. Yeah, so show this. Shift plus H to flip him the other way. And yeah, we have this. I'm going to reduce the opacity of this to 50%. And yeah, we're almost set for this. Uh, I'm just going to you know what, push the in a bit and then just bring this out a bit yes like this cool so with this I would hide my grid select this now this is how auto layout works yeah so I want this to be in this manner and I, I want it to flow in the same line without having to do so much without having to manually do this, you know, so I could just select both of these and come to the auto layout panel and hit auto layout and it's on the, at the center, so that's why you can see this is at the center, so this is not what we're looking for, so I'm going to use the left align, uh, top left align and with that it's going to flow, if I want it to flow at the right, it's going to flow in that way, whichever way I want it to flow, so I'm going to flow it left align and now I want to align it also with the image. I want it to be, you know, to be at the center. Let's say it was at the top. So I want it to be like at the center. So I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to hit auto layout. Now it's at the top left. I could bring it at the uh, bottom left. But like I said, I want it to flow at the center. So I'm just going to click the center and you can if that do this or do this um, so i'm going to explain more of this in the new video but for this i just wanted to show you how the auto layout works and yeah we have our auto layout that centralized this bringing our grid again and then i'm going to apply a grid now to the left and the right so i could do let's say 15 and then just move it in a bit so let's say we do 18 
yeah, I think the thing should be perfect. So it's flowing at the grid now. And then I can give it a height of also 18. And I would give it a color, you know, I'll give it a color and so just close out the grid. I have a color there. I'll give it a stroke as well and then just make this 20. Yeah, so I, I think we'll work more with the stroke. So with this, I can duplicate this. And now instead of duplicating another one and trying to balance it, even though it's going to show you 22, the, the distance between them, all I can do is delete, I'll delete this, select this, select this, apply an auto layout to it, check out this side, it's flowing really, really clean, and this other side. Yeah, and then all I need to do next is to duplicate this. So I'll select this and hit Ctrl D. And it's going to duplicate across that same spacing. I can also change the spacing. I can change the spacing by going um, to the top and changing it from 22 to 10. And watch what happens to the in, in, internal spacing. It becomes smaller. I can increase it. The more you increase it, the more it, it flows in the same sequence for all of the frames that you've created. And yeah, guys, this is. Uh, if you want to talk six and I'll see you in the next video please subscribe and like this video if you found it really helpful I'll see you in the next video like I said and remember I am rooting for you